Hi there, I am Lindsay and today I will be teaching you some basic contact juggling techniques. Today I want to start off with uh, three different types of backhand cradles and then I want to move on to some basic butterfly techniques. Alright, so cradle number one is a three finger cradle. Separate the middle finger from the rest of the fingers and then you drop the middle finger down. And that'll create a nice cradle that will support the ball. This is the cradle that I started off with. I had a lot of success with it. Eventually I had to move on to a two finger cradle just for more advanced techniques. Um, a quick explanation as to why is because when you're going over, say the back to the front of your hand, it's easier to go between two fingers than it is to guide over top of one. Especially if you have nails. <laughs> so then next one would be the two finger cradle and that looks like that. Like I said, this is the one that I use now. Um, we get along great. The third and final one is a Vulcan Cradle, and that is exactly what it sounds like. I don't know a lot of people who do the Vulcan Cradle, but it exists. Alright, so once you discover which cradle works best for you, the next step is to feel comfortable moving it around. This is kind of a boring component to just, you know, pass it back and forth, throw, catch, move, all that jazz, but it is really, really important to feel comfortable having your ball on the back of your hand. Um, it's just a building block for everything else. First time I had contact juggled, I did this for about half an hour. <laughs> and once you're more comfortable having a ball on the back of your hand, the next step is to do a one-handed butterfly, or as I like to call it, the windshield wiper. And that would be just going to the palm of your hand. So from the palm, back over, back to the palm. And what you should be focusing on when you're doing this one is getting just enough force that it is not leaving your fingers entirely. Like, it should still stay in contact with the very tips of your fingers. Um, if you're doing the two-finger cradle, like I mentioned before, it will actually glide right through. It'll be kind of guided. Uh, three-finger cradle, as I said before, is a little harder because you're just kind of going over the middle finger. And once you're more comfortable with that, this can translate into more of a figure eight motion, the one-handed butterfly, or the two-handed butterfly. And that is simply, as I said before, starting off with it in the cradle, to the palm of your other hand, flip back over like I just showed you, palm, switch, palm, switch, palm, switch, palm, switch. And the cool thing about pretty much everything in contact juggling is that you can always reverse everything that you do. So this is the exact same move that I was doing before, except for starting with the palm to the backhand, to the palm to the backhand. Switch. Excellent. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I uh, hope you'll enjoy the other ones to come. May the flow be with you.